If only one day is left for your exam, then how shall you handle the entire 24 hours? Hello friends! In this video, we are going to talk about how to prepare for an exam when you only have one day left. Whether you procrastinated, got busy, or simply forgot about the exam, don't worry because I've got your back. Today, I will be sharing some tips, timetable, and hacks that have worked for me and will help you make the most of your time. So let's dive right in. We divided this video into two parts and in part one, we will talk about if you have to finish a chapter in one hour, so what are the hacks? Part two of the video will talk about the timetable that if you have one day left, for your exam, then how should you study today? Part 1 If you're looking to understand how to complete a chapter in one hour, then let me introduce you to the Maestro method. This method allows you to efficiently finish each chapter within an hour. Here's how it works. First, divide your time into three parts, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and 15 minutes. In the first 30 minutes, you should do priming by reviewing your syllabus, topics, and subheadings of each chapter. This helps trigger your mind to start thinking about the material. For the next 15 minutes, take a quick second reading to identify any missed keywords or important dates. Finally, spend the last 15 minutes testing yourself by answering a question. This method can be adjusted to account for larger chapters by increasing the time intervals. Part 2 Now moving to the second part of the video and that is perfect timetable to study one day before exam. Let's see. With only one day left for an exam and the next day exam will be almost at 8 a.m. that means, for that you have to wake up at 6 a.m. Changing your schedule two to three days before the exam can help you achieve this goal. And use the first 30 minutes for priming, snacks and a quick shower. Our first study session will be from 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. during which you can take a break of 5 to 10 minutes. Next will be 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. your breakfast time. Then 11.30 to 12 p.m. will be our next break. 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. two hours of study session. 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. will be a break for lunch. 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. will be our another two hour study session. 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. will be our one of break. And I want you all to going for a walk. At this time, we will not sit in the room. Move out of the house. At this time, you will go to nature and you will feel fresh from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. This is the time when you will organize yourself for the next day. Inside this, you can create a list of pending work or you will set your bag or you will create a checklist. After four study sessions, the next break is from 7.30 to 8.00 p.m. 8 to 9 p.m. you will revise. If you want to revise 7.30 to 9.30 p.m., you can take that time and now after this, you will not study, you will relax and engage in conversation with your parents siblings and friends. Remember to sleep by 10 p.m. and avoid pulling an all-nighter as it can harm you. Instead, create a checklist and organize your things. One night before the exam, avoid leaving anything for the morning, even if it's for filling a water bottle. I hope these tips will help with your upcoming exam. Good luck!